Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's two o'clock, so I'm taking all the babies out. So I've just got everything set up. And uh, this this young lady here about the horns, she's been sleeping at his door all day. She's been locked up. So he's been sleeping. She's been sleeping at his door like a little bit. The other one with the big horns, okay, she's the triplets to the white ones. Mother to the white ones, I think it is. And um, she's been after him all day yesterday. See, she's trying to cut him off. She wants it. But um, she's just a couple of inches too tall for him. That's the trouble. And he's sort of like, look, look at her saying, come on, come on, do me, do me. Don't worry about here. So she's got no horns. She's not sexy. Come on, come to me. But um, each time he tries to get up on the one with the horns, she's just that little, little bit too high for him. So I have to get him a box to stand on. But these two girls are like going berserk for him. It's like, come on, come on, mate, you can do me. Don't worry about here. She looks, she's got no horns. She's got four, four nipples. You know, she's a weird bitch. Hey, so she says, have the tail up ready for him. Come on, stick it to me. He already serviced these ones the other day. Um, the black one, the white one, the tan one. He goes, he's, oh, I can't, it's, it's a little bit too tall for me. She says, come on, you can do it. Come on, I'll stand, I'll stand down the gutter, you know. I'll stand, I'll stand down, down in the creek and, oh, fuck's that. God, I hate leaves, I tell you, they scare the shit out of me. Right. Come on, come on, come on. Right, they all go out now, so we don't have a problem with them now. The little tiny baby babies to go out as well. Come on, come on. And he says, oh, you're just that little fraction tall for me, darling. She says, look, I've got my tail up. Come on, give it to me. Just stick it in like the black fellas do. Come on. Oh, look, she's like, oh, through the head back. Now, that's a hit. <coughs> that's a hit. He hit base. Yep. She's like, oh, God, I'm leaking now. Oh, my God. She says, that was a big one. Oh, she said, that was a big one. Then the other said, well, come on. What about me? What about me? What about me? Right, let's get out of here. The problem is, the rock, look, he's chasing everything that moves, whether it's a boy or a girl, and all you hear him walking around going, Ugh! 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 Right, let's get this other gate open. So sometimes you've got to tie the rock up because, um, or put him in his hotel, I should say, at the goat resort. I've got to put him in his hotel because he just terrorises the young ones. Absolutely terrorises them. Get this lock done. Right. Mm. Okay. Come on, guys. Mm. Don't hurry up. Come on. I gotta try and get them on the side. I don't want them going up the path. Gotta go quick. Gotta go quick. Gotta get them up the path. That's it. Away from the pathway. Come on, lovers. Come on, come on. The two and the babies, three babies. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, fucking goat tomato, I tell you. Hep, hep, hep. Oh. Let the balls on him, mate. So when he runs, mate, they go from side to side. They come out and hit him up on the bloody hips, they do, on the side. Is she going? No, she's going to play over here. Play hard to get. Oh, I've got to this way. That's it. She's going up. Good. The worst thing is, these youngers at this age, guys, the worst thing is, they start eating like they are here, look. And the big ones will move on, and I'll go up, and I'll look around and go, oh, fuck, where are they? Mum, where are you? Mum, 
Well, these idiots can't see him. Come on, Rock. You got to turn in Andy's place soon. Come on. That's it. Oh, big jump. Big jump. They're jumping up onto coconut trees and they're jumping up over a metre high. Believe it or not, nearly up to my shoulder. I'm only a short fellow, I'm only five foot two. Here they go. Move up! This is where the problem happens. There's no parents left. Shh! 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 And I'm not walking in there because there's snakes. So if they get problem, oh, there's black Betty and brown sugar up there. All right, fuck them. As we say, fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck that. Flocking hell. All right. <clears throat> well, it's going to be this one. I don't want these out till after an hour, but Chick wants them out now. So, oh, yeah. I said, hun, they're too fucking small. You know? No. No one listens to the fucking white boy, do they? Hey? Right? And now look, see, what do I say? What do I say? Myself, I leave him there for an hour inside. They have a bottle of milk and uh, they'll have a sleep, take it easy, because they're not ready. Hey, can't fucking tell that, hey. Oh, we'll just see what happens with these ones. Fuck my dog. Right. Yes, baby, I'll get the chair for you. So the little ones, we'll keep them here, they're sitting near us, they're eating, that's the main thing. Hey Chick Chick, what's this Chick's Hello. Premium Quality Egg Farm? Nice. Sponsored by... Sponsored by, by Chick's, Chick's Premium Quality. So the other ones are over the back here, and hopefully they'll stay roughly in this area here. Well, it's a lot of work goats guys, but you got to remember, your return you get, like you get like, like the babies at three months, you're looking around what, 9,000 isn't it? Yeah. So you're looking about 9,000 for um, each, each young'un. And of course, every month after that, it goes up after that, you know, because um, so there's a lot, lot of work going into um, feeding them bottles, feeding them bananas, feeding them bran, feeding them hammered corn, you know, every day you're feeding them. It's not we like, buy them all. and it's not like the, um, it's not the locals ones with their local goats, where they just tie them up to a peg in the morning and come back at dusk if they're lucky and um, drag them back home again. You know, that's all they do. But um, it's a lot of work, but that's what the farming is all about. You know, we don't we don't do um, vegetable farms and fail with blight and all that type of stuff. We do livestock. That's what we are, livestock hobby farmers. Sounds good, doesn't it? Livestock hobby hobby farmers. Ah, oh, the hog one day will want to be like me for sure. Oh well. Oh well. Hello, hello, hello. Here they go. Where's my bottle? Where's my bottle? Yeah, so he's got to have he's got to have extra milk. See a bit sunken in the back, yeah. because the mama wants to go out shagging. He doesn't care about him. He doesn't know how to suck from the bottle, that one. Believe it or not. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. Move your chair back a bit more, darling. You get choked. You get choked. You get choked, ba. Back, back. You go to your mama. Molly, Molly. Molly's got a new band on. She yeah. lost the other one. So now she's onto the pink one. The pink one. The the, one. the the um. Well, what can I say to keep it that politically correct? Hey. Should have got a rainbow one. Rain's coming over the back here as you can see. Well we've got blue skies up here still. Thunder over this way. Up over the back area. <sighs> it's gonna be pouring down this afternoon guys. Hey, your collar's come off. No. I think it's this one, I think. Right, so the trouble is, she's just walked off now, she's had enough. She's been standing here with him for that long and it's like, he tries to get up, but because of their back, their back on the larger white ones, they're tapered down. 
so that when he jumps onto it, he just slides off like a slippery, you know, slippery slide. You know, it's like a water slide. He's just right, oh, boom, because he's a little bit shorter than them, and so he hasn't got that can jump right up on top of their backs yet. So um, she's just walked off. She said, "Oh fuck you, you're useless." But uh, this one's still, she's still hanging on. But they're hanging at the base of this plant here at the moment, playing around. But that's his trouble, is because they're so tapered. You look at from the top of her backbones, you look at from that down to her tail, she's on a complete 45 degree angle. So he just slips straight off. Yeah, she's disappointed. She's walked off saying, oh, you young boys, you piss me. You piss me, you young boys. But lots of fun all over the place now. We've got to come over here to the south now. We've got thunder over this way. Drops are coming down every now and again, a little drop. But oh well, we stay right to the end. Okay, so this little fella sees the humping. He's making a noise. Ah, ah, ah. Them. Ah. He, he's, not, he's not being fed by the mama. Uh, mama, give me some milk. Mama, give me some milk now. He's always with the... And then the trouble is he's, he's not, he's not, this one is the only one that won't drink out of a bottle. Like, um, he just, she could not get him to fucking get his act together. You know? But the sky's getting ugly, so I just left and uh, fed all the chickens. Fed all the chickens and turkeys. If I get them all fed before the rains, then they're all outside and all munching away. So put them down under cover, all their feed trays, and fill them all up, and that way then they can all come out and eat. But when it's raining, they all piss off, you know, like, ah! They all run under cover. So um, the best thing to do, if you see rain coming, and you've got free-range chickens like I do, is if you see the rain's going to be coming soon, then I'll go and feed them an hour early. And that way they can all eat out in their normal bowls, in their normal locations. And then when the rain's come, they've all finished eating, and they all go inside the uh, main chicken house, or up into whatever trees they oh, want to oh. go into. Hey, I don't think these little ones are going to worry you. Hey? And like I said, trouble he has, like with her, it's not bad, he can mount her, but see the back, the angle, especially on the big girl, as you can see that 45 degree, he just slips off like he's on a slip and slide. It's like, yeah baby, yeah baby. Put that dick away, you. All right guys, that's us. We've got a lot more to do. So we're gonna say TTFN, ta-ta for now. Remember, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, do it. It's not hard, it costs you nothing. It's free, just hit that button and you'll get all the notifications of all our videos that are coming out. Remember, there's also a join button as well if you want to join us on the Aussie Farm in the Philippines. Look after us every month, look, we look after you. And there's all we're going to say about that, we're going to get later on and we will do all day. Catch you later, guys. Bye, hon.